So you're back from your trip and it's time to rinse your BCD. Let's show you how. How's it going, dive buddies? It is Kyle here and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to thoroughly rinse your BCD. This is something that you can do to extend the life of your BCD. The other thing that you can do, of course, is to get it serviced every year when you take the rest of your equipment in to get its annual service. And if you're wondering if that's something that you should do, then we have a video that you can definitely check out after this one. All right, so let's get to rinsing. We're gonna need just a couple things for this. The first, of course, is your BCD, and the second is some form of fresh water. In this particular case, I've got a garden hose with some fresh water uh, you, but you can also do this indoors in a bathtub or a shower it doesn't really matter so as you know your BCD can fill up with air and you're able to dump that air by deflating as you descend well when you open up and let that air out water is gonna come in so your inflation works basically as a passage for water and air uh, which we can use to our advantage in this case if you want you can hold your inflator up while you hold down the deflate button and you can fill your BCD up with water if you wanted um, by basically inserting the water in like so. Now, this can be a little bit messy and a little chaotic and if you don't have four hands, it's not my ideal way to do it. All right, so what I like to do is go right to the dump valves. Your BCD most likely has a few other dump valves around it, probably on the right shoulder uh, and probably kind of maybe down on the, one of the lower hips, probably the lower right hip. We can take these off. These are basic threads. There's nothing crazy or any crazy tricks. We can simply unscrew the dump valves here. It's fine, we can just set that aside. The three components that this is made of are the cap, the spring, and kind of the gasket or the seal that's gonna seal up against the BCD here. So that's fine, we'll set that off to the side. And now what we can do is we can simply fill up the BCD through this opening, which is gonna go straight into the bladder. So then we'll take our hose or whatever, and we will in fill it up with water, you know, we aren't necessarily fill it. We're not going to max it out here. We're not going to fill the entire bladder with water, but we're just going to get a good amount of water in there that then we can, we can slide the water around internally, right? We can put the cap back on. If my BCD is very salty, I will let it sit for a bit, kind of break down some of those big salt crystals that might be in there that are stuck within the, the thing. You know, and as you're taught, as you're taught in your class, you inflate your BCD. And let it smear all the water around, let it slide back to back. Insert, and we'll dump all that salty water out. and we'll rinse and repeat as needed. You can do this as many times as you want. The, I'd say one is the minimum that you should do, and then until you're satisfied with the amount of rinsing that you're done, just keep repeating. And when it comes to screwing and unscrewing these dump valves, just make sure that you aren't cross-threading them or anything like that. So a good way to do that is once you've got everything lined up, maybe instead of going you know righty tighty just go lefty loosey a little bit till you kind of feel that it's catching on the thread and then slowly start to you know do the righty tighty if you're feeling any resistance of any sort stop back off and then make sure that you're not cross setting the threads of your bcd and then gently screw them back on until they're tight now you can also remove the whole inflator from the bcd and it's the same idea as unscrewing the dump valves. Just the gentle uns uh, unscrewing here will remove that. And you'll also be able to rinse water via the tube if you like to do it that way. With doing it that way, you do have to be careful that you don't end up losing the little rubber gasket that's in this component of the inflator hose mounting to the BCD. So, just be careful if you were to do that. That is why I like to do it the other way and then rinse out the, be the water via the, the inflator hose instead of unscrewing that mechanism. You just wanna make sure that you don't lose that gasket while you're rinsing that way. But the same applies to unscrew and screw. Just wanna make sure that you aren't cross-threading when you screw it back on. And that is it.
Now dunk tanks are cool and all and work fine if you're on a dive trip or on a boat somewhere, uh, but really unless you're the first person with the first piece of equipment into that dunk tank, then everyone else after that and every piece of equipment is basically getting rinsed in salt water. So you just wanna make sure that when you get back, you thoroughly rinse all of your gear anyways, especially your BCD. And if you aren't comfortable with doing this task yourself, of course you can take it into your local dive shop after your trip and they will be more than happy to help you rinse it out. And there you have it guys, how to rinse your BCD. If you have any questions on anything that we covered in this video or anything else, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll be happy to hear from you. We'll see you next time and happy diving.